What's going on everybody? Crazy Dog back with a very special video for you guys as the results of the first return in NBA All-Star Game fan voting have been revealed. Of course, the 2022 NBA All-Star Game is in Cleveland, Ohio this year. And you already know Cleveland's about to show out once again in the national spotlight because that's what we do. When the MLB All-Star Game was in Cleveland a few years ago, y'all saw how lit it was. And it's about to be even more lit when the NBA All-Star Game comes to Cleveland next month. Now, with that being said, in this video, I'm going to go through the first fan vote returns. And we're going to see uh, who is where, and we're going to see how many Cavaliers are in the top 10 at their respective uh, position group. Of course, you have back court and front court, so we're going to see how many Cavaliers are in the top 10 in their respective groups, and we're going to see uh, who's there, you know, there's going to be some players who we didn't expect to be there, and then there's going to be players who we thought would be there that aren't. So with that being said, enough lollygagging, let's get right into it. Now, we're going to start off in the Western Conference, and right off the bat... LeBron James is first in voting in the front court. Color me shocked. Then you got Nikola Jokic, who is at 1.6 million votes. And then right behind him, you have Paul George, who is currently injured. Then you got Andrew Wiggins. Okay, Wiggins has had a pretty good year. Then you got Draymond. All right, all right. Then you got AD. Followed by Carl Anthony Towns, Carmelo Anthony, Rudy Gobert, and DeAndre Ayton in 10th. All right. So, uh, not really too many surprises. I mean, Carmelo is kind of a shocker. Anthony Davis uh, has barely been on the court. But because, you know, Lakers fans are crazy, they're going to get him into the All-Star game even though he's barely played. But yeah, um, low-key, Anthony Davis has been playing super soft lately. Ever since he won that ring, he just hasn't been the dog that he used to be. You know, He needs that dog mentality back that he had when he first went there to L.A. And uh, he'll be all right, but just needs to get on the court. Now you look at the guards, and oh my God, look at the freaking uh, differential from first to second. Damn. Steph Curry. Curry. Shout out Rocha. 2.5 million votes. Then he got Luca in second with only 787,000. Yeah, that's definitely uh, Warriors fans talking right there, man. They are going hardcore for Curry. Then he got John third. All right. Although it looks like he's starting to close in on Luca a little bit. Then you got another uh, sizable uh, difference between third and fourth with Clay Thompson in fourth. This dude has not played in a single game yet this year, and yet he's fourth in fan voting. No surprise, because again, Warriors fans are just like that. You know, they're crazy like that. They're going to get this dude in the All-Star game, even though he's barely played. I believe he'll be playing his first game in around two years, this Sunday, of course, against my Cavs. And you already know I'm going to be streaming that game. Should be fun. But Devin Booker's in fifth, and he's right on Clay's heels. Then you have uh, Devin's teammate Chris Paul on Devin's heels as well in sixth. Then you have Spider Mitchell in seventh with 217,000 votes, followed by Dame, who is currently injured, I believe. He has 210,000. And then Anthony Edwards in tenth behind Russell Westbrook. Okay, Russ in ninth. Kind of shocked, but okay. Now you look at the Eastern Conference. You got, of course, Kevin Durant leading the way in the front court. And nipping on his heels is Giannis. Followed by Joel Embiid. Jason Tatum. Man, look at the difference from third to fourth. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> That's crazy. But not really a surprise. I mean... KD, Giannis, and Joel Embiid are three of the best players in the NBA right now. So that's not a shocker. 
Then you have Tatum in fourth. Jimmy Butler in fifth. I know he's been hurt quite a bit this year. And then you got my guy, Jarrett Allen, a.k.a. the Fro in sixth. And look at the difference, man. 522 to 168. Yeah, he's got a way to go. Cavs fans, you better pick up the pace on this voting thing. We're slacking off a little bit, man. Pick it up. Come on, let's go. <laughs> for real. Then you got Bam Adebayo, who's out for a while. I believe with a thumb injury, so we won't be seeing him for a while. Uh, he's at 141,000 votes. I don't even think he'll be able to play in the All-Star game, even if he was voted in. Then you have Miles Bridges at 122,000. Lamarcus Aldridge in ninth. Who the heck is voting for Lamarcus Aldridge in this day and age? And where's the bonus at? People are really voting for Lamarcus Aldridge over Sabonis? Y'all are unserious. My God, bro. What the heck? Ay, ay, ay. Then you got Vucevic in 10th at 92,000 votes. My God, look at the difference there. That's crazy, man. Vucevic? Then you go to the guards and, of course, DeMar DeRozan leading the way with 1.4 million votes. Then you have Harden and then Trey Young, no surprise. Zach Levine in fourth. LaMelo Ball in fifth. Kyrie, who's only played in one game as of this video. He made his season debut last night. Had a pretty good game. He's in sixth. Then you have D-Rose in seventh. Tyler Hero in eighth. Darius Garland in ninth. Okay. Now we are really being unserious. We got freaking D-Rose and Tyler Hero over Darius Garland. Yeah, us Cavs fans really need to pick up the slack in the fan voting department. Of course, luckily, fan voting isn't the end-all be-all to determine the teams. I believe the media has a hand and, of course, the coaches as well. I believe coaches uh, decide the reserves. So I honestly see both DG and the Fro getting in the All-Star game. There's no way with how good this team is they're going to have only one All-Star. If we do, it's probably going to be the Fro. But we need to get Darius Garland in the All-Star game. He truly, honestly deserves it with how good he's been playing this year. And then coming up in 10th place in guards, you have Fred Van Vliet. Honestly? Darius and Fred need to be higher. You know? Darius and Fred need to be like, if anything, 6th and 7th. For real. But again, we're talking about fan voting. You know? But, uh, we'll see what happens, uh, between now and the next returns. I'm sure, uh, Darius will probably rise a little bit and some guys are gonna fall. Maybe we even might even see some new faces pop in, like Sabonis. <laughs> you know, that'd be cool. I don't know if Sabonis is going to get in, but it'd be nice. You know, Indiana honestly deserves at least one representative in the All-Star game, right? Although they aren't too good. And imagine, you know, Sabonis actually somewhat cracks the top 10 and then he gets traded. Because remember, the trade deadline, I believe, is before the All-Star game this year. So, we'll see what happens. But uh, with that being said, let me know what you think of uh, the first results. And uh, let me know who you would uh, move up and down or maybe put in this list. And give me your opinion on this list in the comments down below. But as always, hit the like button. Subscribe for more. I'll be live tomorrow night for Cavs and Blazers. And uh, with that being said, I'm Crazy Dog 99 Let's go Cavs. And I'm out.